Hello everyone, this is Kyuho again. In this video, we're gonna learn about runout and profile tolerance. So first, runout tolerance. Runout tolerance is related features, so it requires data. And it controls circular runout and total runout. And the profile tolerance can be individual or related features. So sometimes it doesn't have any datum, but also it can have datum. And it controls profile of a line, profile of a surface. Let's take a look at the definition. Circular runout. An extent of section surface that displays to the specified direction when rotating a data masses. Total runout. An extent of a circular surface that displays to the specified direction when rotating a datum axis. Profile of a line. An extent of a line profile that is out of geometrical profile. Profile of a surface. An extent of a surface profile that is out of geometrical profile. Let's take a look at the practices. Okay, first, circular runout. Circular runout is how much one given reference feature or features vary with respect to another datum when the part is rotated 360 degrees around the datum axis. It is essentially a control over circular feature and how much variation it has with the rotational axis. So the section we measure as a circle and then the circle will have radius value but the radius value's origin is the datum axis which is datum D, so center of the datum, center of the circle. But in runout tolerance, radius is important. So the formula of calculation is uh, subtract R maximum to R minimum. So that value would be the runout tolerance. And the second, total runout. Total runout is how much one entire feature or surface varies with respect to a datum when the part is rotated 360 degrees around the data masses. Total runout controls both the amount of variation in the surface as the part is rotated, but the amount of variation in the axial dimension. So overall surface, you have to measure cylinder, and then the formula of calculation is basically the same. So the radius values are important. And the characteristics of total runout it cannot be applied on cones and surface tapered plane, which means available with cylindrical features or just regular plane. And when it's applied on the plane, it basically includes orientation tolerance, which is a perpendicularity and parallelism. And the next, profile tolerance. So the first, the profile of a line. Profile of a line describes a tolerance zone around any line in any feature and usually of curved shape such as the uh, practice as you can see profile of line is a two-dimensional tolerance range that can be applied to any linear tolerance so reference profile from the datum d is there and then the you measure the actual part uh, line and you can see the profile tolerance range is exactly the equal from the reference profile. So the actual profile should be within the tolerance range. And then the profile of surface. Profile of surface describes a three-dimensional tolerance zone around the surface and usually which is an advanced curve or shape. If it's called down on a curved surface, like a fillet on a welded part, the entire surface with a radius is, has to fall within the tolerance zone. So the reference profile, which is three-dimensional profile, and the measured plane profile. And then you can see the profile tolerance zone is exactly the same, equal, plus, minus directions, each other. Let's take a look at the characteristics of profile of surface. So you can see the example. Those three rectangle shape 
features. But then the first one is only controlled by only controlled by profile of surface without data. And then the second example is controlled by profile surface with the datum D and regular dimension is stated. And the third one controlled by profile of surface with the datum D and also there's a basic dimension. So the first one means actually the same as flatness. But then the second one constrained datum D which means parallelism. And then the third one constrained with the basic dimension is the same meaning as position tolerance. The formula of calculation for runout tolerances is R maximum subtract R minimum. And runout tolerance is not regulated in diameter. And total runout cannot be applied on cones, surface, and tapered planes. And the profile of surface can be interpreted differently depending on whether the datum, dimensions, and reference dimensions, which is the basic dimension, are regulated. So that's it for now. I will be back with you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.